Today, I want to take a few minutes to walk you through how at Pacific Point, we've been able to innovate around Salesforce platform to drive growth and efficiencies, both for us internally and our customers. First, we'll have a look at how our sales team leverages the sales activity dashboard to effectively manage their customer relationships by having key accounts and opportunity information available on homepage. Next, we'll take a look at how we've leveraged process automation and declarative features on platform to drive efficiency within our PMO by auto creating service projects on closing of opportunities. This empowers the project managers to start planning their projects and have the team members log billable time regularly. So the end to end cycle, it would be fair to say that the consistent use of this all the way from sales through to delivery has significantly enabled our team to help deliver excellent customer experiences at every touch point they have with specific point. So let's jump in and take a look. What do you see here is the sales activity dashboard for George, our sales rep. When George starts his day, his dashboard plays a crucial role in, in helping augment the memory on what his first task of the day should be by giving him a real-time status view of his accounts and opportunities. He has a view of his key accounts and opportunities that are segmented using various dimensions, such as opportunities stage, activities completions, neglected opportunities that have had no activities for two weeks and planned upcoming activities. Using this information, George is able to prioritize his first task for the day, which is to upload, in this example, a signed contract against uh, an opportunity that he has um, open. So let's go straight into uh, the account that the opportunity belongs to, which is NBC, where we can see a list of activities and past interactions, including tasks, calls, and emails. Below that, we can also see that for NBC account, we have a huge $2.8 million Health Cloud build release one opportunity. So let's go ahead and action the task assigned to George by uploading this contract, which he's just received from the customer. Now, before we upload this document, I wanted to highlight the guided flow capability to allow users to manage the opportunity stages. So it, it acts as a reminder of what they need to do next to be able to close this. It's, it's really helpful, especially with the new, you know, when you're onboarding new sales reps in the team, as it ensures everybody's across the company is following the same business process. As we can see here, the health cloud opportunity is in negotiation stage and the guided flow checklist is reminding George to upload contract once it's signed before progressing forward. By integrating the Dropbox document management capability onto native Salesforce platform, we've been able to greatly enhance George's, who's a sales rep's user experience as he can now within a matter of a few clicks, upload the signed agreement to Dropbox from within Salesforce without having to switch context or change browser windows or tabs. And once this file is uploaded, we can go ahead and close out the task as completed. Next, again, to um, improve George's customer ex experience as a, as a user, as a sales rep, he goes to his Kanban view and he can mark this opportunity as closed one. Behind the scenes, Using process automation, there is a service project automatically created as part of the handoff process from sales to delivery to the project manager with some intelligent rules for built in. As a project manager, I, as Vineet, can then start planning my project, managing milestones, resources, and cases, where cases um, and the way we use it is if effectively a discrete task assigned to a resource on a service project. Now, for the purposes of demo today, I have already um, set some of this, um, these, these records earlier. Now, as part of planning, I need to first try to find uh, an available solution architect uh, resource for this week for my new project that I've just, um, I've just inherited. So I need this resource who can help me um, start doing some initial planning of my deliverables. I'm able to do this by looking at the internal operations dashboard which tells me the overall workload in terms of cases the team has on and who's working on what, giving me the critical information that I'm after instantly. I'm able to see that George is only going to be utilized for an estimated 18 hours this week based on the amount of cases he's got on. 
I can therefore assign him the first case for my new Health Cloud Build Service project so he can start helping me uh, plan the first project sprint. Here's an example I prepared earlier. George can then acknowledge the case once it's assigned to him and start actioning it. At the end, and then when it's all done, at the end of each workday, he's then able to log his time in, in the time card custom component that Dina mentioned, uh, the amount of time he spent working on this case in his weekly time card, which as a project manager, I have a view of across my team, including George. And here's what that looks like. If I take a macro view of it, by keeping track of each project um, as a business leader and other metrics, you are able to keep a tab on you know, project health statuses, um, ensuring they're always green as a project manager and across the company. This in turn drives incredible efficiency from an end-to-end -end operations, giving the leadership team company-wide view of all service projects and their health statuses, as well as maintenance and support requests from our customers. As you've been able to see that across the organization at Pacific Point, each consultant is empowered to emulate internal best practices from end-to-end -end sales through to delivery at every touch point with each prospect and customer, not only supporting them on the CRM journey, but also more importantly, helping them grow their business. Thanks, George, for helping drive the demo today for us and everyone for tuning in.